go boy as you are. You don't go boy. We don't go boy as you are. Your breath smells like the liver. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Malligator Mom, and my boy, Riot. Today, we are gonna be talking about the treadmill. So I am actually a novice when it comes to this piece of equipment. It's not something I'm familiar with. I have never used one before. I did quite a bit of research online to get me prepared to introduce this to my dogs, and I'm going to be sharing that information with you guys today. That's good. Perfect. Cut, print, take to take. So just real quick before we get started, I wanted to let you know that the link for the treadmill in today's video can be found on my website at malligatormom.com. Alright guys, the first thing you're going to need is a high value reward. And in our house, that's Munster Milling freeze dried beef liver treats. I am not kidding when I tell you guys that these are like crack to my dogs. They will do just about anything I ask when these come out. So if you want to give them a try, head over to MunsterMilling.com, use my coupon code MALLIGATORMOM35. This gets you 30% off your order or 55% off an order of their custom kibble. And if you order between now and April 2nd, you'll get a free full-size can of these beef liver treats to try. All right, here we go. Start by luring your dog onto the treadmill with treats in hand. You should also initially be using a collar or harness to help you stabilize your dog on the treadmill during these first several sessions until your dog is comfortable with the equipment and able to pace themselves without your assistance. I found that you can either guide your dog onto the treadmill while it's moving at a slow pace so that they're aware of the movement, or you can bring them onto the treadmill while it's off and then turn it on once they're already on the machine. I learned this week that my dogs prefer to step onto the treadmill when it's already moving at a slow rate of speed, and I suspect that this will come down to the individual preference of the dog, and you'll just have to discover this through trial and error as I did. You might find that your dog is a bit hectic or sloppy or confused looking, and that's okay. This is when your leash pressure and guidance will help them stay in position on the treadmill as they work it out. So just use some forward and backward leash pressure to show them where they should be standing on the treadmill. I also think it's important to mention that your dog's treadmill should not be facing a wall. As aesthetically pleasing as that might be to you, it's totally unnatural for your dog to be running into or towards a wall. You'll also have an easier time manipulating your treats if you can offer them in front of the dog rather than off to the side. You might also be wondering how fast should my dog be running? Well, another great tip that I picked up this week is that you need to watch for your dog's gait. They have two gates, a pace and a trot. A pace, like you see here, is where Riot's left leg and right leg are in sync. And a trot is when this transitions to a diagonal. So here you see Riot's front left and back right are in sync, and likewise the front right and back left are in sync. And this is just a more natural and efficient way for your dog to run. So aim to bring the speed up enough to transition your dog from a pace to a trot. And once they've achieved the trot, you can actually reduce the speed a little bit if you'd like and help keep them in this trot mode. So your first few introductory sessions should be relatively short and sweet. How far and how fast they run greatly depends on the physical condition of your individual dog. My Malinois is in great shape and very active, but even still, I call this first session quits at about five minutes. That's a good boy, yeah. All right, guys, so before we get out of here today, I do want to take a quick second to share some really exciting information. If you're anything like me, you probably feel like there aren't enough hours in the day. Most days, like you, I'm usually buried under a mountain of responsibilities, one of those responsibilities being my dogs. And if I don't figure out a way to multitask, my ship's going to go down. So while my family and friends might tell you I've got this down to a science, there's still one thing I can tell you for certain. I don't have all the answers. And while I have a lot of fun working with my dogs, I also still have a lot to learn. So what happens when Malligator Mom meets a challenge I don't know how to overcome? Where do I turn when I'm just plain stumped or looking for insight or reassurance that I'm doing the right thing? Robert Cabral is one of the most highly respected dog trainers in the world. If you haven't heard his name, it's quite possible you've been living under a rock. 
He is the uncontested authority on canine behavior, whether it's basic obedience, pet dog training, aggression, compact, complex behaviors. I mean, you name it. This guy has trained and titled competitive obedience and protection dogs in uh, Mondio, IPO, Schutzend. He has worked with most every breed and temperament of dog. And he has recently launched a website that is quickly becoming my favorite pastime. It's like a dog lover's playground. I truly feel like a kid in a candy store when I scroll through lesson after lesson. So maybe you want to work on mastering the basics. Maybe you're just in need of some refresher training. Um, maybe you just need some help working with your crazy Malinois puppy or you're having a dog with leash issues or a reactive dog. You can learn basic through advanced obedience and solve behavior problems. This is a great website for everyone from beginners through experts. So make sure that you follow the link down in the description of this video. You can get 10% off robertcabral.com. I highly recommend it. Electric collars, also known as electronic collars, shock collars, e-collars, stimulating collars, and probably a host of other things. I want to set the record straight on electric collars. And in this series of videos, I will explain to you how to use it effectively, how to use it humanely, and how to make it you and your dog's best friend.